Keeping your home from fire. Many of you depend on volunteers to do that, but they're harder and harder to come by, forcing some local departments to hire paid firefighters, which could, of course, increase the tax levy. To slow or stop that trend, one local group is trying to draw in more volunteers. Atia Collins shows us how they did that today. Atia? As life gets busier, there's less time to go towards volunteering. The Bushnells Basin Fire Association says that's one of the reasons volunteer numbers are down. In recent years, the number of firefighters has declined by over 40 percent. And Recruit New York is a statewide effort to get people in the door. The Bushnells Basin Fire Association held an open house today where they asked, is there a fire in you? A question they hope sparks volunteerism in the community. They say volunteer fire departments not only help keep taxes down, but they are filled with workers who are invested in the community, ready to protect. I'm very, very busy. My family's busy. Um, and I've been able to put in the time and effort. Other folks have. So if you want to do it, we can do it. We can work with you and help make that happen. All right. Atia Collins, thank you. I do have one question before I want to let you go. Um, some people out there may be thinking, okay, I'm willing to give the time, but money, there's equipment, everything like that. Do they have to pay for their own training? So it's actually pretty easy. The Bushnell Fire Association provides the equipment. And they offer free training right there in the fire department. All right. Atia, thank you so much. A student county